Yo, what's up guys, Shijin Kidding here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about my current tier list. Yes, the patch has shaken things up just a little bit. Uh, so I have organized it into four groups because I believe that's all this game needs. I do not believe that they uh, need like A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. I think uh, I got an S tier, which are the clear top five in the game. I got an A tier, which is... Um, majority of people who can hold their own, who would be tournament viable, who are, you know, have very few if, uh, losing matchups. Then we have the B tier, with have some characters that do quite well against most of the cast, but maybe have like one or two matchups where they just kind of get blown out, or their tools just aren't strong enough to keep up with the top five. And then we have the C tier, which is like, not viable. <laughs> like, I would be shocked if someone made something work with them. So, let's get into it, starting with the S tier. So as you can see on the screen here, I have Black Adam, Firestorm, Adam, Poison Ivy, and The Flash. Poison Ivy was one that kind of snuck in there after this last patch with that new move that she's got with the Bed of Thorns being buffed. She's looking like she's going to be a problem. Um, Adam, just like looking at his tools and playing with him, I'll, I'll, admittingly I don't have as much experience in the matchup as I'd like. It just looks like he has kind of an answer for everything. Could be totally wrong on that one, but I had to pick five that I, from my experience, and this is just my opinion, Yours might differ, you might disagree completely, and uh, you know, think that I'm an idiot, that I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but this is just my opinion. Uh, and none of these are in order, by the way. Um, I do think that it is kind of a toss-up between Black Adam and Firestorm as to who's the best in the game right now, so that's something interesting. Um, they tried to nerf Black Adam, but it was a piss-poor job. I was just like, really, like, what did they think they were doing, honestly? And, uh, yeah, and the Flash, because, you know, just has ridiculous damage into mix, into mix, into mix. Similar with Firestorm, he just struggles a little bit more with the zoning aspect of it, so that's why I have him a little bit lower, but he could be anywhere. I'm not saying he's fifth or third or second or anything. He's just, he's just in there. So this is my A tier, kind of like the higher mid tier. So we got Superman, Red Hood, Batman, Doctor Fate, Wonder Woman, Sub-Zero, Black Manta, Supergirl, Hellboy, Catwoman, Aquaman, Black Canary... Dark Side, Atrocitus, Robin, Bane, and Starfire. I think that's a pretty good list. You know, these people can, uh, not quite in the top five, but they can all kind of hold their own in a tournament. I wouldn't be surprised to see any of them in a top eight or any of them win, to be honest. Uh, they're all really solid characters. And, uh, yeah, not really too much else to say. Um, oh, and if you have any questions about where I put people on the tier list, you want to know, like, my train of thought and stuff, just post it in the comments below, and uh, we can discuss it there. And then we have my B tier, uh, which is Green Arrow, Blue Beetle, Swamp Thing, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, Cyborg, Cheetah, Deadshot, Enchantress, and Brainiac. Again, these are characters that could probably hold their own. This game is so balanced, it's really hard to make a good solid tier list for it. So these are uh, characters that can probably compete. But like for Brainiac, I know, for example, like Brainiac versus Cyborg is just a complete blowout. So, you know, it, it's just like they might have hard counter picks. Enchantress is kind of yet to be seen, so I kind of threw her in there. I, I could be totally wrong. She could be top five <laughs> for all I know. Um, but I just had to stick her somewhere from my looking at her overall, you know, tools and stuff. So that's kind of where I think she belongs. Um, Harley Quinn was a hard one. I, I really wanted to put her in the A tier, but it's just... I. Harley players are always bitching about stuff, so I, they gotta know something. <laughs> so I just put her there. Again, I could be wrong. And this is my C tier, or worst in the game. So Captain Cold, Raiden, Joker, and Gorilla Grodd. Gorilla Grodd was up there in the last patch. I had him at, I think, as a high mid. But now they just kind of... They fucked him up. Like, they made his cancels easier to do, but they also took away the frame advantage on him. So, not really exactly sure. His trait got some buffs. I don't know how useful they are. Um, but I know the Grill Grog community is up in arms about the changes to him. Joker is one that you could make an argument for him being in B tier, and I probably wouldn't argue with you. I tried to make a bottom five, but I could not come up with a fifth character that I would put in the bottom five tier. Like, I know Captain Cold, Raiden, and Gorilla Grodd for sure are bottom five. I just want to say Joker because no one really uses him. I know he's got some setups, but they changed some stuff with him, and, you know, the community's not happy. So, he... You know, if you want to argue the Joker's higher up, I wouldn't put him past the B tier, but he could be in there. I could be just be an idiot, but uh, this is my this is my tier list. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Again, you know, maybe leave your current tier list in the bottom or ask me some questions about how I came to the conclusions that I did. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe because we make new videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys.
in the next video.